This is the best tool for managing everything you consume online. I know you're drowning in content like YouTube videos, TikToks, podcasts, articles. How much do you actually remember? How much can you actually use when you need it? I have the perfect solution. So in the beginning, I did what most people do. I tried to get organized with Notion. I hated it. <laughs> then I tried to solve this with Obsidian Web Clipper. I did a big complex setup with custom AI prompts. But here's the problem. It required so much setup time and managing. And honestly, it was just frustrating to use it on mobile as well, so it just didn't work. I also tried Notebook LM, but I didn't like the summaries I was getting, and the bookmarks were divided into notebooks, which was really annoying. Thankfully, the tool I'm going to show you today solves these problems, and it does so much more. I'll show you everything in a minute. Today, we're talking about Recall, an AI-powered knowledge base that automatically saves and summarizes everything you consume across the internet. And in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you four things. First, what Recall actually is and why it's different from every other tool you've tried. Second, I'll show you how to get fully set up in under 10 minutes so you can start building your knowledge base immediately. And third, this is really important, the three core methods for adding content from basically any platform, whether you're on your phone, your computer or watching YouTube or reading articles. And finally, the most important thing to me, how to chat with all of your saved content at once and actually use it for whatever you're working on. Recall is so powerful, so keep watching so you can see what all it can do. Here's the thing about traditional note-taking tools. They all require you to do all the work. You have to organize everything and honestly, most of us just don't have the time or discipline to maintain these systems. So what if instead of organizing everything, the AI just did it for you automatically? That's exactly what Recall does. It's not a bookmark manager. It's not just another note-taking app. It's an automated knowledge base that turns every piece of content you consume into something that's actually useful. Let me just show you what I mean. When you save something to Recall, let's say it's a YouTube video, it doesn't just save the link, it creates what's called a card, and this card is really powerful. You get an automatic summary of the entire video, not just a couple sentences, you get a full structured breakdown of the main points, and it's a really good summary. You also get the complete transcript in what's called the reader view. So if you prefer reading to watching, you can just skim the transcript and jump to the parts that matter to you. You get an AI chat feature where you can ask questions about that specific content, and you get automatic connections. Recall extracts key concepts and links them together to other content you've already saved. Now, the notebook view is where you'll do most of your work. It's got your summary, your highlights, your personal notes, and it's all editable. You can add your own thoughts and you can highlight key sections. Basically, you can use it like a normal editor. And here's what I love. The interface is fully customizable. You can have notebook on the left and reader on the right, or maybe connections on the side. Personally, I almost always just use the notebook view. I prefer seeing the summary first. And while that sidebar feature is powerful, I usually keep it closed until I actually need it. Whatever works best for your brain. And the automatic organization is honestly game changing. When you save content, Recall's AI suggests tags based on what you've already saved. And you can always override it if you want. It's not going to get it perfect every time, but it does get it right most of the time. So you're ready to start building your knowledge base. Let's get you set up properly. First, obviously, go create your account on their website. It takes 30 seconds. And then the critical first step that most people skip is you need to install the browser extension immediately. This is by far the most important thing you can do because the extension is how you'll save most of your content. It's how you'll interact with videos and articles while you're browsing the internet. Once it's installed, pin it to your toolbar so it's always visible and easy to access. Trust me, take the time to do that. When you first open Recall, you'll see your main feed in the center. This is where all your saved content lives. On the left, you've got your sidebar with all your tags, and that's how you'll organize and filter everything. Now, here's a tip that'll save you some headaches. Keep the demo card that Recall gives you, because if you have questions about Recall, the AI chat can just reference this to give you answers. If you're someone who already has a bunch of bookmarks saved, Chrome bookmarks, maybe in Pocket, whatever, Recall lets you bulk import up to a thousand bookmarks at once. And you can even import up to 10,000 markdown files if you're coming from another tool. 
like Notion or Obsidian. It's honestly the fastest way to jumpstart your knowledge base instead of adding things one by one. But for now, let's focus on getting your foundation ready. Your goal at the beginning is simple account created, extension installed, and then saving your first content. So let's continue with that. Now, there are three core ways to add content and they all work across basically every platform you use. Let me walk you through each one. First, in the browser extension, this is your primary weapon. Let me show you how powerful this is. So you're watching a YouTube video, doesn't matter what it is. You're going to click the recall extension and watch what happens. It immediately generates a clean, structured summary of the entire video. You can skim it in like 30 seconds and decide if it's worth your time. The best part is you can chat with the video right there in the extension. So if you're watching a video about meditation and you want to know what the recommended routine to follow is, you can just ask and the AI pulls the answer directly from the transcript. You'll see what they're recommending immediately and you'll get the timestamps. So if you want to jump to the exact moment he talks about that, just click the timestamp and you're magically there. See this little lock button in the extension? If you click it, now when you jump around the video using timestamps, the extension stays locked to the side and then you can navigate through the video while keeping your notes and chat visible. And everything you see here is editable. You see something interesting in the summary, you can highlight it and add your own note. It all saves automatically to your knowledge base. And then when you save the content, Recall automatically categorizes it. See, you didn't add that tag, the AI just figured it out for you. Now, you might be thinking, what about AI browsers? Can't I just use those? I'm actually using Comet right now, which is a new browser with AI built right in. It can summarize videos and articles pretty seamlessly, actually. You can do the same thing with Dia or ChatGPT Atlas, but here's the problem with AI browsers. They don't really give you anywhere to store your bookmarks that's easy to use, and they definitely don't organize them for you. See, if you just summarize something and you move on, you're not going to remember it. You need a place you can come back to to see that summary later. Otherwise, what's the point? You're just gonna forget it. So that's what Recall gives you, a permanent place to save everything and have it be organized automatically. This way you can actually build on what you're learning over time instead of just consuming and forgetting like you're probably doing right now. But what if you're not at your computer? What if you're scrolling TikTok or listening to a Spotify podcast on your phone? That's where the mobile app comes in. Let's say you're reading an article on your phone right now. Hit the share button, select recall, and you're done. It automatically generates the summary, tags it, and adds it to your knowledge base accessible from all your devices. You could literally do this while you're in line for coffee. Same thing with Spotify podcasts or TikTok videos. This works for basically any content you're consuming on your phone. The mobile experience mirrors the desktop. You still get the summary, you can still chat with the content, and you can still highlight and take notes. It's really just a seamless way to build your knowledge base while you're on the go. The third method is honestly really cool for specific use cases. There's this quick search feature for Wikipedia. So let's say you just watched a movie and you want to save it to your knowledge base. Just search the title and Recall pulls in the full Wikipedia page creates a card and categorizes it automatically. I do this all the time with movies I watch or for notable concepts from books I'm reading. But here's an important note, when you use the wiki feature, it doesn't automatically generate a summary like it does for YouTube or articles, but you can easily just generate one and add it to your notebook. You can also just paste in URLs directly. So podcasts, articles, whatever, you can just paste the link and Recall just handles it. And if you work with a lot of PDFs, you can upload up to 100 megabytes per file. So that could be research papers or eBooks or course material. And you can also create your own notes from scratch. So you can just write a title and take some notes and you can chat with your own notes and quiz yourself on them later if you wanted to. Okay, now here's where Recall absolutely destroys every other tool. And this is what made me completely switch. You can chat with your entire knowledge base at once, not just one video, not just one article, all of it. So let's say you've saved 50 productivity podcasts and 20 articles about focus and 10 YouTube videos about deep work. You can ask a question like, create me a morning routine based on everything I've saved about productivity. And it pulls insights from all of that content. But if you want to be more specific, you can add specific cards or tags, that way you can dial in what you're looking for. This is what tools like Notebook LM just can't do. With Notebook LM, you're stuck in isolated projects. With Recall, your entire knowledge base is connected and searchable. This is where the automatic organization and connection actually pays off. Because Recall's been tagging and linking everything automatically, you can actually use all the information 
right when you need it. Look, if you're someone who's constantly consuming content, trying to learn and build something, whether that's a business, a YouTube channel, maybe you're doing a research project, the point is you're already busy, you don't need to spend hours managing a knowledge system, you need to consume information, understand it, and then actually use it. That's the whole point. So here's what I want you to do right now. Go to Recall, the link is in the description, create your account, install the browser extension, and just start saving content if you haven't done all this already. In the next video, I'm going to show you my personal recall workflow, specifically how I use the AI chat feature to extract actual value from everything I've saved. That's where things get just really powerful. When it's live, I'll put it here on the screen. Thank you guys for watching. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you in the next one.